motor you up to a eddy up here, just ahead. I'll shut the motor off and uh, you make a few casts. Okay. There it is. If he ain't there, he ought to leave a note, Donnie. Yeah. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, beauty. <laughs> Yeah, if he if he ain't home, he ought to leave a note. Yeah. Nice. You gonna come out of water again? I don't know. He's digging. There he is. Digging for the bottom pretty hard. Not big, but yeah. nice. I mean, pretty fish. Yeah. Look how pretty that is. Ouch. I just switched over to a grandpa's green grundle on that one, and he <laughs> ate it up good. Nice. <laughs> Man, these salmon look pretty when they come out of yeah. water like that. They're not afraid to go airborne. I think I got them worn out. Got a hooked jaw. Oh, yeah. Don't get excited. No, he's still on. Salmon. He hasn't jumped yet. I'm gaining on the strain. He took it right at the end of that cast. Oh yeah. Nice, nice one, huh? Yeah. Woo, he's fooling me. Yeah. Let him take it. He saw the boat. Yeah, nice, nice fish. Looks Is it? Like a nice fish. I only saw the big old silver side. Oh yeah, that's big. <laughs> that might even be a keeper. See him? He does not want to come up. You want to hit him with a paddle? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going down river. He turned down river on me. Oh, man. Oh, he's down by the falls. No jumps yet. Think it might be a bass? <laughs> There's no bass in this river. There's no. Jump Jesus, look bottom. at this fight, Donnie. Yeah. Nice wow. Going down river again. I think we're going down river too. Oh no, did we just stall her out? Easy, easy, I'm fighting this fish. I know. This might be lunch. Oh, he might have me in the rocks. He's a brute. Yeah, maybe just hold us in one spot. Well, we're gonna drift back. He's coming up side view. There he goes again. Whew. That's a fighter. I'm more or less standing still. Okay, so. that's good. Let me know if you get eyes on him. Is it chub? It's no chub. Big old silver sides? Silver side, all right. If he gets in the motor, let me know. Lift him in a little more. I can't. He will not lift his head up. Really? Yeah. 
It's only six pound test. Maybe let us back down a little, Donnie. Do what? Let us back down a little, down the river. Yeah, no, or just let us drift down to him. Oh. I got his head up. Okay, I'll try to gain on him. The prop's not spinning, right? No. Oh, he's a beauty. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a keeper. Is he in the motor? No. Well, he's... He's... It's a keeper? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Holy cow. Yeah, he's 18 plus. Move easy. Wowzers, look at that! What look at that salmon! <laughs> he's well over 18. Oh, he's a beauty. Wowzers! Nice. Look at that nice one! Fish. He's that's over two pounds. Easy. Nice fish. Wicked. Wowzers, look at that. There ain't much white left on that thing. Woohoo! All right. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Wow, he's probably 20, 21, 22. Corka. Want to take him back to camp? Probably Ottawa. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! You need help? Nope. He had female right full of eggs. Right full of eggs, Donnie. Oh, female. Yeah. You want to eat those eggs? Oh, I like them. Save them? If you can. Yeah, I could, I could put them in a cup. They're big eggs. Oh, wow. A lot of eggs. Oh, nice. You want me to put them in your coffee cup? Uh, let's see. Yeah, put them in a... On a plate? Yeah, I think it's Okay. Holy cow, there's a lot of eggs. That's why she was so heavy. Look at that, Donnie. Over here, too. Oh, yeah. I gotta believe that was runners. That's cool. Look, it goes all the way up into that tree. Yeah. And it tapers at the end. Yeah. What do you think it is? I think it's a runner, runner on an old scoot that they used to haul logs and pulp wood out on. Wow, yeah, that's quite a find. That's cool. Something here. Right. Axe. Yeah. Must be a pile of axe heads. Big. The best spot's here, but it's like this whole area. Oh, it's way out here too. Something big. Oh, yeah. Maybe we found a dump. It's a whole area. Huh. You can dig anywhere you want. That's metal. Is it? Well, maybe not. Sound it. What do we find? A dump? Oh, it's everywhere here, Donnie. Oh, no way! Look at that! 
Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> that is so cool! A horseshoe! Uh, yeah! No way! <laughs> that is so cool! Wow! Did we find a whole thing of horseshoes? That'd be cool if we found the blacksmith shop. You get tired, let me know. I'll switch with you. We got another one. No way, really? Yeah. Oh, three. <laughs> this is unreal. What is that? This is awesome. I can't even believe it. Wow. We're up here in the middle of the North Main Woods. Look, here's an old leather shoe. Oh my gosh, a boot. Brought the metal detector in just to try it. It's a new one, it's not much money. And we're finding a bunch of stuff. Another piece of boot. Yeah. Oh, that's got the actual grommets. What, what is, is this? And we're just walking through the woods. We're look an old spike. Spike. That I bet that was the end of a PV. It looks just like a PV end. Unbelievable. We found either a blacksmith shop here or a metal dump. I don't know what it is, but it's just look. No, he found an axe head. Woohoo! Oh Donnie! God. Donnie! Oh my god! You believe it? I don't believe it! We've been talking about finding an axe head for years! This is unreal. Now you see me on full oh point my right god. now. What's that? I cannot believe he found an axe head. Oh my god, what a find. What a find. The horseshoes or something else. The axe head, Donnie and I are right into axes. That is an old main wedge. Look at this. I mean, it's still intact. It's three and a half, four pounder. Probably Emerson, Stevens, Snow and Neely. Wow. I mean, we are so far from civilization here. Yeah. Where's the closest civilization? I mean, what are the chances that we would walk on this? We're just, I mean, we're so far into the woods from the river, even. Yeah, Donnie knew there was an old logging farm here somewhere. Wow, we got more metal up in here, I think. There's no end to it. I, yeah, it was a big circle. Oh my god, we gotta find another horseshoe. <laughs> Look at these shoes, another they're horseshoe. huge. What they use, Clydesdales mostly, Donnie? Oh my god. What's that? What do they use for horses? Clydesdales? No, no. No Clydesdale, but... Big workers. Right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. You gotta move your tool. Oh my god, this area is loaded. We either found a dump or a blacksmith shop. Look, Donnie, all the way down through here. Wow. I wonder if this was the blacksmith shop. There's rocks over here. It might be the foundation to it. See it? What is that? This line of rocks. Oh, yeah. Look at this, all the way through here. Yeah. She lit right up like a Christmas tree. Wow. All right, that's the end of it. It's right where all these rocks, right in the circle of these rocks. Do you believe it? Oh my God. That, that's the jackpot. I'm gonna dig down the hill a little here. Yeah, I'll switch with you whenever you're ready. Yeah, go ahead. Don't, don't get wore out. Oh my God almighty. I just can't believe we found what we came after. I know, we've been looking for an axe head. That was our goal and we found it. We caught a giant salmon. Found an axe head in the middle of North Main Woods. Wow, this is unbelievable. You guys stay tuned for future episodes because we're gonna... Wow, look at that, an old leather boot. We're gonna fix that axe head up. We're gonna, we're gonna dip it in some solution that takes all the rust off, crust off it and maybe be able to identify it. That's pretty special to both of us.
we'll give you the stuff. You tell us what it is. Oh, Look no. at the chain. Yeah. Can you believe? I just can't believe it. The, oh, whoop, whoop, you missed one right there, Tia. Another horseshoe. Look at the horseshoes coming out of the ground here, Donnie. What's this? There's a piece of metal. Is that a piece of metal? Nope. Oh, yeah. What is that? Turnbuckle? That's Look at the old, horseshoes. I'd say this is part of a scoop. The camera's right there if you want to show it anything. There's a bolt, I think, off a... This may be a bolt and an eye off a old scoot or something. Look at the horseshoes coming out of the ground. Look at this one, it's touching. Wow, that's a different... I've never seen one like that. That Another was... Horseshoe. This is unreal. Never in our wildest dreams, or only in our wildest dreams. Wow. What's this? Where? Oh, wow. What old, in the old, heck is that? That's a old lock set off a door. Oh, another one. Yeah. Neat. Let me see if there's metal right here, because we got to move that metal pot. Ah, another axe. Nice. <laughs> Look at that wedge. Look at that sucker. Can you believe we stumbled onto the, I just can't believe it. It's almost like we had one of these horseshoes up our Yeah. Look at that axe head. Look at that. Another one of those horseshoes that. That's some good main steel right there. I'm gonna move everything up because I think there's metal under where we're throwing. Look. What? That one. Look how that's huh. made. For the winter, maybe? Well, we might not be going out with a lighter load after all, Donnie. No, it doesn't look like it. That is definitely a PV hook, Donnie. Yeah. I mean, a PV poke. Right. I needed one of those. Look at all the different size horseshoes, too. Pipe clamp? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just don't believe this. I mean, this is, this is history. Yeah, I can't get over the axe heads. And the, I'm pretty excited about these horseshoes, to be honest with you. That's gotta be 50 horseshoes. This gotta be a blacksmith shop, huh? It's gotta be. I mean, why would they be? Oh, look at that piece of metal. What is that? What the heck is that thing? That's a big horse. No, well, that's a. I'd say they bolted this and put a chain. Like a, yeah, something to pull something. Let me get this rock out of here. Is there anything under it? I bet you, Donnie. Yeah. I bet you these rocks were his foundation. Yeah. What's that? Oh. Oh shit! I broke it. Huh. Yeah. Axe. Get yes, axe. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the shape. We could use these. Can you believe it? A three axe head. Holy. Another something. Watch out. Oh. Glass. Look at that. That's we didn't timer. break it. That is old. Johnston. No. Yeah. No. No T. They spelled your oh, name Johnson. wrong. Johnston. They spelled it wrong. That is an awesome find. Holy mackerel. I don't want to break it. Can you just, I just can't believe we stumbled onto this. I'd say that metal detector's worth it now, wouldn't you? I would say so. Holy. I bet you had a rock gravel floor, because look at all these little rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And that, I bet you that's the foundation. Yeah. Jackpot, baby. We found the jackpot, Donnie. I mean. That sounds I like another action. the odds of ever finding this. 
pretty good odds, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is, <laughs> to me, unbelievable that we covered all this ground and happened to stumble here. We could have missed it 10 feet one way or the other. But, like, look at the size of the roots growing over the stuff. Yeah. That just shows you how long it's been here. Feels like another axe head right here. Nope. Push you. Huh. That metal. Rock? Or nope. It's metal. It is? Yeah, something big. Axe head. No, it's not flat. It's round. Huh. The, the roots are so big right here. Like, how old is that root? Yeah. There we go. Huh. Oh, did they have springs back then? I don't know. Looks almost like a spring, like a coil spring. Huh. I'll tell you in a second. Almost need an axe. What the heck is that? PTO or something? Lombard part? No, you want know what that is? No. That I believe would be the metal of a a, hip, a wheel or something. This oh, would be the, you're right. Show the camera that an old wagon wheel. An old wagon wheel. Holy crap! The hub hub part of an old wagon. Oh, another horseshoe. Okay. Watch out for that bottle. Yeah. It's almost like you can get down to the row of rocks and just stop, you know? Look at that. Oh, God. Can you imagine the number of horses they must have had? Definitely, you work down the hill and you're going to find more here. Yeah, there's. it went to your right boot. What is that? Oh, <laughs> three at a time. <laughs> Look at that. Three at a time. More. Holy cow. Look at that. Can you believe? We're obviously going to have to weed these out, not take them all. I think we're done after this. We might as well give up looking for metal after the day. There's more metal up the Look hill. Look at this. There's about five horseshoes right there. Donnie and I are just beside ourselves with this find. Total luck, just walking through the woods with a metal detector. I mean, Donnie and I love main log in history. We love axes. And right now we're at five axes, about 50 horseshoes, really cool other stuff like this thing that just came out. And then figuring out like what everything is is going to be half the fun, but we're just so damn excited digging. <laughs> As you can see, oh my, what is, look at all the horseshoes. <laughs> Oh my God, we shut the metal detector right down because we got basically about a five, five to six foot wide swath that's eight foot long. And you could kind of see where it was a foundation of rocks like this big, maybe two foot off the ground. Then the ground's grown in two foot over top of it. Roots have taken over. I mean, this site probably hasn't seen a human for a hundred years. Oh, you got another axe head. This, this one's all peened out on the end. So they were using that as a sledgehammer. Wow. That's number one, two, three, six. four, five, six for axe heads. So this, we're figuring this had to have been the blacksmith's shop. And everything either went here for repair or sharpening or just general metal. And when, when we stopped finding metal, digging deep, like maybe 10 inches deep actually, we find like gravel rocks like this big that must have been the floor lining for this building. And I mean, just sniffing this place out, not knowing there'd be a blacksmith shop. I'm sure every farm is what they called it when the logging camps or farms had at least one. 
um, just kind of sniffing it out and just poking around through the woods all we are. We're probably, oh, three to 400 yards off the river. And what drew our attention up here was, you could tell it was definitely a field maybe a hundred years ago by the type of trees that are growing here and the, the underbrush and it's like wide open. But this swath we're on has got some bigger spruce trees, real big spruce trees, which grow fast and some ugly looking pasture pines in a dark swath. So it looked like an edge of a field or a road to me and it stayed fairly flat like a skid trail for when they used to haul the logs out. So we just kind of walked on that and then we found a couple big pieces of metal that Donnie figured were like the bottom skids to like a yeah, wagon. Runners or runners. Old, old sleigh or old uh, logging scoot. Yeah. And then we went another 50 yards further and I, I detected like a area like this big. So we either thought it was a big piece of metal or a lot of little metal and Donnie started digging and man, you guys see the rest. You saw those horseshoes pop out and how excited we are to find them. and. Then we started finding axe heads, and that's, oh, that's that, the end that for was us. The prize, the prize was those axe heads. We found what we were after, just by chance. Yep. Hit a miss. Yeah. We could do this for a hundred more years and never, never find another blacksmith shop. Uh oh, you got a cramp yeah. in your leg. Hamstring locked right up. I ain't drink any water for a couple days. You get. You, I don't think we've ever pulled one shoe. Wow. <laughs> I just can't believe all the hush shoes. Well, this is the site here. We're about ready to give up on it. There's still metal in it. Uh, we'll, hopefully we'll be able to find our way back someday. But man, did we find some stuff. Some of it, we don't even know what it is. Right, awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. But look at all the axes. Six axes. Don't look, at, he... look at the pile of horseshoes. Yes, sir. Horseshoes, brackets. There was a lock set there. Bunch of stuff we didn't know. A PV point. PV point. A Hush, hay rake. Horseshoes in the shape. I'm going to dig one out here that... I have never seen this particular type of shoe, if I can find it. There's just so many. A little pitchfork. Now that I'm looking like that, that's... I've never seen a shoe that's tied together like that hmm. with metal. Yeah, we found a handful like that in that pile somewhere. Must be on the bottom. Now that one looks fairly good shape. Yeah. That, that doesn't look so old. But there's another one. Yeah, that is neat. With a huh. And there's another one with a little bit different shape on the bottom. See yeah. that? Could it have been like for winter traction? Possibly. I mean, these cogs are different. You know, this is different. You know, like the cogs here really dig in. Those yeah. must really dig in in the ice and snow. There's another one of those. PV point. Good shape. What's that other thing closer to you? Uh, this yeah. thing? Yeah. I believe that looks like it locks a chain in together, you know, like a mm. huh. liniment. Johnson's, American. Johnson's American liniment from where? Anody? Andy? An it says anodyne or something like that. Oh. I, I, th I think... Oh, anodyne, not something yeah. Nebraska. I'm blown away by what what we found in such a vast area of no man's land, and we find this. I, that just blows my mind. Unbelievable. Well, for those of you guys who 
like to go find stuff yourselves, I mean, don't ever give up because you never know when you're going to get that one beep that leads you to a pile of treasure that you're looking for. This is it for us. Donnie and I, we were saying we could do this for a hundred more years and never find a stash like this. Never. And we'd still be happy with what we found. I can't get over these axes. I'm really looking forward to getting those cleaned up and just seeing if we could identify them. I don't know if this was before Great Northern's time or during Great Northern's time or it could have been Ed LaCroix. Yeah, I mean, it must have been the late 1800s, you know, early 1900s. Yeah. I mean, there's, those trees are over 70 years old. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. they didn't sprout up till well after. Yeah. I'll show you guys what we were talking about earlier with the, with the ground and the woods changing. Like little subtle changes like that kind of stand out. If you look, you'll see like these real dark trees. You got your spruces and some pasture pine and some fir trees mixed in. And then you got this, like this to me is the road. This was a road right through here. And you could see like where it, it flattened out. And over here was no doubt pasture. You see it's just alders and it had been pastured long enough where there's no big trees on it. There's really old stumps if you look close. But you can see like it's, it gets into the alders and there's no more trees till you get over there and over there. So this, this was just a great big huge field. And then right here, the ground was definitely harder, definitely cleaned out, definitely more rocks in it. And they just skidded thousands and thousands of cords of wood and horses and ice trails over this. And then, you know, 20 feet off of it is where we found that blacksmith shop, right where Donnie is there. What do you think, old boy? How'd we do? We did excellent. excellent. Look at the stash. Mind, mind boggling. Really something. And Donnie said it's, if you can find one horseshoe, it brings luck, so. We got a lot of luck on our side. So yeah, we're, we're fixed for a couple of years. <laughs> What do we, we didn't have many inches of freeboard coming in. <laughs> we were just saying we're going to eat a lot of groceries and we'll go out lighter, but we're going to go out heavier. <laughs> no doubt about it. Are we? No, I don't think we're going to find any names. No. How yeah. about a GNP Co? Uh, well, that's the hole we came out of the woods with. Yeah, it's some of it. 40 pounds or more of steel. And that, that surprise there. Yeah. I can't believe we didn't break that. I know. The way you and I were swinging that I thing. Oh, we are all jacked up and excited swinging that thing. You can do a roll cast. Like that? No, like what's, what's a roll cast? Bring it, bring it in. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So your line's like in the water, then it flops out. Then it flops. I like that. Flops over. That's cool. I like to make a cast that rocks the entire boat. I like to get this boat going right back and forth, get me that extra foot on my cast. Two and ten. Two and ten is what the Al always said. And you want the fly to hit the water just so softly. I can't do that. Before, rather, before, rather than a big splash. Before your line hits or after? It would be after. After. Oh, I can do that. Nice. What do you think? I think we're in the best spot possible. <laughs> I agree. Donnie brought us in off the water just in time. She's opening up again. We've had these showers all day long. We're sitting here with our second set of dry clothing today, eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so, I gotta tell you, about the first time I ever went fly fishing. This makes the second time in my life. Oh wow. The first time was about 22 years ago. And Stevie had me up to his favorite lake at the time. He's a big time fly fisherman, knows his stuff. And he had me up to Masada Hunk Lake. 
and it was early, and they were supposed to be eating these nymphs things. Yeah. Like bugs before they're bugs, I guess. Not mayflies. No, nymphs, I guess. Oh, like, okay, like, like May? A, yeah. Is that an early lure or no? Yeah, and if I know. Well, they were supposed to be eating them, but they weren't. <laughs> it was bad weather. It was cold. And we threw these nymphs for, I don't know, a couple of hours. We weren't catching nothing. I said, I said, they must eat minnows in here. I said, ain't you got anything that looks like a minnow? He says, I got... I got one, he goes, it's a black nose dace. I said, well, if you got one, I'll take it. And I took that thing and I wound up, wound up, wound up, wound up back and forth and whoop, fly went right about there. And I let her sink a little bit and I just twitched it a couple of times and whoop, drought. Really? <laughs> yeah, big, wow. old, big old drought. No kidding. Yeah, I threw that in the creel. Cause you keep five there. I took that black nose dace and went, did all that back and forth and the fly went somewhere right right in front of me end of the rod straight down and i twitched it a couple times and whoosh, big old trout wow. <laughs> threw it in the creel well i did that about five times and stevie started digging through his flies he didn't have yeah. any more black nose oh, days wow. that was the only one and i Holy. caught about 20 fish wow and they never hit a nymph for that poor guy wow so as far as i'm concerned the black nose days is the only fly you need yeah have you got one? Yeah, that's I oh, got. Okay. I got two. I brought one for you. Okay. <laughs> Just in case they started feeding on it. <laughs> but that's right. what that's what I caught that one on earlier. Okay. Was that black nose dace? Good. Great. Yeah. That and I caught the other on a a green grundle. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that is. Yeah. Well, that's my only fly fishing story. Now I got two. Yeah. There he is. First grouse of the year. Woohoo! Nice. Might be another one right handy. Let's set him up in the tree here. Set him up in the tree. You'll get us another one. I saw him on the ground. He was getting ready to fly. He, he just hunched down when I pulled the trigger and dumped him. But I think they're in these woods mushrooming. We'll leave him there. We'll leave him hang. Wow, nice! We got grouse. Uh-oh, Donnie, we're losing water. Are we? Yeah, the water was right here yesterday, up to that stick. Now, it's down to here, the water line. Uh-oh. Okay. We're in deep trouble. What are we going to do? <laughs> you mean we may not get out of here? Yeah. The water's down there. Oh, wow. How high is the water, Donnie? <laughs> it's about three inches low. And not rising. Uh-oh. Don't forget your salad. I'm not eating any salad. You didn't climb to the top of the food chain to eat no rabbit food. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Clothes hanging everywhere, hanging in the trees, raining again. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, little old man. Oh, there she goes. She's starting to perk. There she goes. Second perk. <sighs> Day number three. 
Rain day number three. <laughs> yeah. We did have a good day coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We got here just in the nick of time. Yeah. Yeah. Got it that afternoon. It set up, and then right after we set up, it poured. It'd be all right. Isn't this something? Hey, we're set up for it. Yeah. I'm running out of dry clothes, but <laughs> we're set up for it. This is this is another rainy day in paradise. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good afternoon for a nice hot cup of tea. We just got quite a rain shower again. Got caught out in it. Last pair of dry clothes. That's how it goes sometimes. We'll see. Looks like the trout or the salmon are about to start eating again. So let's we'll give them hell. Got him. Oh, what a jump. What a jump. Donnie. Nice, nice salmon. Nice salmon. You got one on? Yeah, big one. Oh, what a oh, jump. Do you wow. see that jump? Do you see that jump? Yeah. Look at that jump. Yeah. It's a good one. Dark. Might be a smallmouth. I don't know. <laughs> you and your smallmouth. He hit that gray grandpa's grundle hard. <laughs> I just tied that one last night. We might have to chase him with the boat. Oh. Wow, he's really pulling. It's a big one. I think, I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got me in the current, Donnie. Oh, here he comes, another jump. I see my leader. Yeah. He's right there. Woo! I see my fly. Man, he does not want to turn. I gotta give him line. Whoa! <laughs> Bullheaded. He's all wrapped up in my line now. Come here. Quit messing around. Yes, sir. Nice fish. Woo. Hook jaw. Yeah. Be about 18, 19 inches probably. That little hook jaw on him. Nice fish. All right. Whoa. You baked us a cake? I baked us a chocolate chip cake in my trusty old, old, old oven. That sits right on top of the propane, huh? Right on top of the propane and cooks like a son of a gun. We're back to our stash. Nice. Let me set this camera up. Oh my god. Axe? Whoa! Sweet! Auger bit. Well, wow. right now we're already glad we came back. I believe there's still stuff under that big root, but we're not taking that big root down. Oh. Kind of cool. Uh, nope. 
grew right in. Look, another one right there, grown right into this root. Completely grown in. That's cool. Tony! I found a saw, I think. There it is. A couple of them, I think. Wow, big root right yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know if we're getting that one. It's cool, though. Dang it. Yeah, we might be able to pry it. There's like two or three there, though, of stuff. Maybe axes. Oh, wicked. Nice. Wow. Blacksmith made hook. Yeah. With a loop over it. That's going home. Yeah. That is awesome. Holy cow, Donnie. Look at our water stick. We're in trouble. That's not good. That's a foot. Yep. Yeah, it's down over a foot. In two days. Yeah, look at this over here. This is what we're going to have for supper. We're going to have partridge. We're going to have salmon. We're going to try the salmon eggs. They've been soaking in salt water for all day. Garlic and butter are, is going to go with the, with the birds. And I'm going to put a uh, seasoning breadcrumbs on the fish and fry those. So, with carrots and mashed potato. Mm. You have outdone yourself again in your culinary arts. Wow. Look at that nice fried garlic. Oh my goodness. Holy God, I guess we're low. We're in trouble. We're gonna be hit. Look at this. See the stick? Yeah. Wow. We lost a lot of water last night. Sticks right here. Yeah. The water's down there. Right. Holy God. We in trouble, mister. <laughs> Yeah. We're all packed up. It's uh, finally the sun is out. We we came on a pretty good morning. Then it's rained in the afternoon. It's rained for two days. The sun is up this morning, which is great. Break to, great to break up camp when it's not raining. The water has really dropped. That stake is where we put it two days ago. It, the water was right up to that stake. Now look at it. So we're going to have a little bit of a tussle getting out of here, probably, because there's some low places in the river. And uh, it's going to take a little maneuvering. Well, guys, true to fashion, we just had a little mishap. I had the drone up there getting some good footage, and 
I went to catch the thing and it did a quick twist on me like it was avoiding me and the blade hit my finger and as soon as you hit a blade she's down so it went down in the middle of the river over here so to save the memory card at least I went for a little swim it is cold real cold and I got right to the bottom of my chicken McNuggets and somehow I gained an extra two inches on my tippy toes but the next step put me up to my belly button a lot of foam means more rapids up ahead. That's a lot of foam right there. But she's quite, the river is quite a bit lower. I'm glad I'm with a highly experienced river man in Donnie who spent a lot of time on not just a river, but particularly this river. So he kind of knows the ins and outs and which side to be on. and. All right, guys, we didn't make it through the rapids. We got pretty close, so time to hook up to the bull. I'd strip down to my underwear, but I don't have any on because I just went for a swim a little while ago. I don't mind doing that if we have to do that. It's pretty easy to do though. That's not hard. Donnie, I don't even see it. Oh, I see it now. It's at the end of the rapids. Did that have your name on it? Well, we just lost a paddle. It's got Donnie's name on it, so if you guys ever find a paddle down Chizankuk or whatever the next body of water is, it says D.B. Johnston on it, Jefferson, Maine. That's who it is. Let me know. Get a hold of us. I'm sure he'd love to have it back. I think his mentor, Al, made that for him 50 years ago. What a shame. Now paddles are at a premium. Yeah. See, I had it laid it laying up here like this, and I must have hit it. And... Huh. Well, that's your paddle. Okay. About ten feet ahead. It's right here. See it? Gigantic iron anchor. You got it? Yeah, it's right there. Something on the end of it too. I can't tell if that was like another hook. See the end? Yeah. It's got an eye and maybe another hook. Maybe it's not an anchor, but it's in the shape it of it. It is an anchor. It is? Yeah. One of those big ones. I can't believe we made it. Yeah. Good. 
Good driving. We lost a drone and a paddle. Good driving, Donnie. Damn good driving. You okay? Oh, yeah. What was that, about a six hour ride? Well, your arm's back here running the... <laughs> Good. <laughs> so I'm sore. Oh, you got to switch over to your right hand. <laughs> you did good. Oh, you yeah. did damn good. Hey, way to go. Yeah. That river was some shallow. We, yeah. I got to see a lot more bottom of, of it coming back than we did heading down. Yeah. I'm just going to grab it. It looks like a broken chain. Look at that. Holy. Look at that. Look at this. Wow. Ow. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that anchor. It's an anchor, too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's no way you're going to lift that. It's anchored. Holy mackerel. Look at the, ho the hook on that thing. Yeah. Like 8, 10 inches. I'll show you the other end in a minute. That is impressive. What is that thing doing in this river? I think it was Did put in here for, to anchor a boom, a log boom, yeah. so pulpwood wouldn't either go down this side or, or close off the other side. Did they run steamships down here? No. No? Not this far. I mean, look, you got to get over here and look at this thing close up. It's crazy. That is something. Oh. <laughs> it wants to take wow. me right over. Wow. Look at how that was made, huh? Yeah. Boy, that's been in the river a long time. It is solid, solid, solid. It's Holy. over it's six foot tall. Wow. It's got a it's got like a drifted eye and then it's got a huge uh O hook on it. Yeah. It's but, got a way over three hundred, I'd say. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah. It, if I, I mean, can't pick it with one arm, of it's three hundred. A lot of metal. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive to find something like that. I just saw the eye. Yeah. And I was like, that can't be a tree. So we went back and it looked, I thought it was a uh, saltwater anchor is what it looked like to me. Yeah. And look at the, yeah. the Boy, paddle that, on that thing. That bites in. Wicked. Oh. <laughs> it's taking me over. So that that's quite something. Well, I'm going to lay her down. Okay. You ready? Tidal wave. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs>